So how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean the battery and it's pretty easy and simple. All you want to do is get some sort of a degreaser slash cleaner. You could pretty much use soapy water like some other people do. Hey guys! But anyway, all you're going to want to do is get some sort of a cleaner and basically wipe off all the blue stuff slash acid that's already on there. Uh, you should be probably wearing gloves for this just so you don't get it on your skin But I do use water and a rag to wipe it off and I try not to get it on my skin So yeah, try to wipe off as much as possible Either way, we are going to spray some water. You could spray it with the hose Although I don't suggest that just because you can get water all over other electronical parts and then make sure to clean the inside of the terminals as well. As you guys can see, those are really dirty as well. But we will be using some, I guess, specialty tools uh, later on in the video. But make sure everything is out of the way. Make sure they don't touch each other or touch, you know, one's touching the battery, the other one's not. We're just going to spray some water into these terminals so they soften up and clean up a lot easier and I you guys can see I'm using this 99 cent store degreaser called awesome you know it's pretty good for a dollar and then make sure you get your nice bottle of Aquafina and <laughs> splash it onto the battery I preferably use the water bottle just because you don't spray all around all the electrical parts and don't mess up anything else uh, like I said you could use the hose but like I said the water bottle is a lot easier for me and try to dry off everything as fast as possible even though uh, the battery could get wet and then the second part of this we're going to want to clean the terminals with this wire brush you can buy these things for like a dollar at the auto parts store or like walmart or even online but they usually come with two separate things one for the terminal and one for the actual post i'm doing this with one hand so you know but you guys get the concept of it Obviously, if you have two hands, you can really get in there and clean the terminal up. And then after you clean the terminal, I have a separate one to clean the post, but usually they come together. But all you want to do is just put it in there and turn it a few times and it should come out really clean, just like these do. You don't have to really scrub it that much just because it takes it off pretty easily. Just a few turns should do it. As you guys can see, that one, the positive end, is a bit corroded already because of the acid. But thanks to this thing we're going to do, it's no longer going to have that problem. And make sure you wash off all that lead you just uh, took off with the battery post cleaner because that stuff is really bad. So make sure you wash it off with uh, water. And it also won't rust just because it's made out of lead and not like a metal-like iron or aluminum so once you dry everything all up and clean everything super duper good you're pretty much done with that part of it and and if you just leave it like this it'll probably rust again or leak out that acid again so what we're going to do is put on this battery terminal protector spray it's really good stuff i highly recommend it it pretty much guarantees that you won't leak anymore. There's also some rings you guys can put on the bottom of the terminal. It's like kind of like a like, like a donut made out of like a foam material, which really helps as well. It really um, traps the, the blue stuff that leaks out into that little foam instead of it just foaming all up and going all over the terminals. But just with this spray, it should really help out a lot. It should pretty much guarantee that you'll never have that blue stuff you guys saw in the beginning. Which really messes up your battery. As you guys saw on the positive end, it really ate it up. And then other than that, that's pretty much it. You just tighten your battery back up like it was. And you are going to have to reset it. If you are working on Toyota like me, you're going to have to reset the idle. But I do have a video on that uh, you guys can check out. But that's pretty much it. Just by using this, you'll save a whole bunch of money on a battery that'll last longer. And yeah, thanks for watching. 